السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته 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 بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم in the name of Allah we begin the name of Allah who is most compassionate, most merciful. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. Praise is due to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Lord of the worlds. Wabihi nasta'een. In his name do we seek help. Wa salatu wa salamu ala nabiyyina Muhammadin wa ala alihi wa ashabihi wa man tabi'ahum bi ihsanin ila yawmiddin. Salutations upon our beloved Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and all those who are his companions, those who have followed them, are following them and will follow them until Qiyamah. Allahumma la ilma lana illa ma'allamthana innaka anta al-alim al-hakim. O Allah, we do not have knowledge besides that which you have granted us, for indeed you are most knowledgeable and most wise. اللهم اهدنا واهدي بنا واجعلنا سببا لمن اهتديت يا ذا الجلال والإكرام Oh Allah, guide us and guide through us and use us in order to guide others make us a means of guidance for one and all اللهم إنا نعوذ بك من علم لا ينفع ومن عين لا تدمع ومن قلب لا يخشع ومن بطن لا يشبع ومن دعاء لا يسمع Oh Allah, we seek protection from knowledge that is of no use from eyes that will not cry for your sake from a heart that will not fear you, from a stomach that will not be filled, from a soul that will not be content, and from a dua that we make to you that will not be accepted. My dear brothers and sisters, a few moments ago I rendered a short qira'ah and I feel we need to ask Allah's forgiveness. The reason is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَإِذَا قُرِئَ الْقُرْآنُ فَاسْتَمِعُوا لَهُ وَأَنصِتُوا لَعَلَّكُمْ تُرْحَمُونَ When the words of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala are being recited, be very silent, extremely silent, dead silent, listen, concentrate, so that mercy may descend upon you. We were making a noise. What a disgrace. Let us spend a moment of silence asking Allah's forgiveness for having insulted Him, Rabbul Izzati wal Jalal. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive us. I want to put forward something very important. I did not scream, I did not shout, but I got you quiet, didn't I? Alhamdulillah. So, what I want to say is, there are many ways of educating people and of achieving what you would like to achieve. I greeted you five, six times, and I want to tell you why. Because I wanted you to be silent. That's it. And I think every time I said, Assalamu Alaikum, 10 or 20 people were quiet. We felt the noise going down. It's an insult to listen to the words of Allah, to listen to the advice of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, whilst speaking. So, alhamdulillah, we thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that at least now that we've reminded the people, they have taken heed, myself included. I'm one of you. I'm a human being, similar age, similar background. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us acceptance. And I wish to remind you of something. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَذَكِّرْ فَإِنَّ الذِّكْرَى تَنْفَعُ الْمُؤْمِنِينَ And remind for definitely the reminding 
assists the true believers. Thank Allah we are true believers. We were reminded a moment ago and immediately it helped us. Allahu Akbar. That is a sign that you have Iman in your heart. And so do I, inshallah. And so do all of us. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant that to us. We have seen that ayah in motion today where you were told to remain silent for the sake of Allah. The guilt that must have come to your heart came to mine as well. That guilt is a sign of acceptance, a sign of the flicker of Iman in my heart and your hearts. إِذَا سَرَّتْكَ حَسَنَتُكَ وَسَاءَتْكَ سَيِّئَتُكَ فَأَنْتَ مُؤْمِنٍ If your good deed makes you happy and your bad deed makes you regret, you are a true believer. Because you believe that there is someone that I am answerable to. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant that to us. Education. The future of the Islamic ummah. Not only is it the future of the ummah, but those who enjoyed leadership in the past. It was through education that they led not only the Muslim Ummah, but the entire world. This means that those who were in the presence of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam at the time, they were not babies. When he presented Islam, he did not go to little babies to present Islam, but he went to adults. And we know them, Ali ibn Abi Talib radiallahu anhu, Umar ibn al-Khattabi radiallahu anhu, and the likes, they accepted Iman and they learned a thing or two. At what age? When they were well into their adulthood, is that not correct? That means it is our duty to make sure that we do not stop learning from the beginning to the end. If we stop for a split moment, we are heading in the wrong direction. Knowledge is an ocean. Not only the knowledge of deen, but any beneficial knowledge is an ocean that has no coast. The minute you think, I know, that means you feel you've arrived at a coast. That means what you have is not genuine knowledge. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us the understanding. Look, I must qualify my statement. The word ilm is used not only to refer to Islamic knowledge, but any knowledge that is beneficial is Islamic knowledge. Why do I say that? Because Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, it is reported by the Sahaba, ma taraka khayran illa wa dallana alayhi. There is no goodness that he has forgotten to teach us. Let me tell you, he taught us science, he taught us biology, he taught us mathematics, he taught us geography, he taught us everything. In fact, the topic of sex education was discussed by Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam in a very dignified manner within specific frameworks or a specific framework. So all this is not new to us as Muslims. You want to learn something in any topic, open the Quran, look at what the Quran says. The thing is, we are blind. We say we are Muslims, but we have not struck the correct balance between Islam and the secular education outside. We have divorced them. That is the problem. So we are good lawyers, doctors and everything. But at times, if we lack Iman and Islam and good character and conduct in the process, we have only attained half. That half will help us in the dunya, not in the akhirah. But if you are a brilliant doctor, lawyer, accountant, professor, what have you, and you have akhlaq of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa not only will you achieve success in this half, but even in the other.